Hi guys, I'm Matt Lowe's here today, and I'm picking out lumber for my windows. I need jams, sills, aprons, casing, and side casing and top casing for my doors and my French doors. So what I'm looking for is rough edges like that, um, a little boogered up and stuff like that. And also I'm gonna look down the board and make sure that it's nice and straight. I don't want any bananas. So I'm gonna pick out my lumber here and I'm getting one by threes because it's a little cheaper than a one by four and it should work out great. Yep. Okay, so I got four eight foot one by threes and this will do my aprons and my top casing. So now I'm gonna get six footers so I won't have any waste and those will be my side casings. So I'm gonna... Okay everyone, so I got my one by three by eights and I got my one by three by sixes. What these are gonna do, are they're gonna be our aprons and our top casing. They're both gonna be cut at 43 inches long and I'm gonna cross cut them. They're gonna be um, eight foot long so I can get uh, two out of each. So I can get 16 out of, I don't know, eight out of four boards. And then for a one by three by eights, they're gonna be our side casing and I can get eight out of the four boards. At 36, I shouldn't have any waste. Okay guys, so now it's time for my sills. What I originally wrote down was a one by six. I came to the store here and found out I can save $8. It was originally 13 for a one by six and it's nine a board for a one by five and it's only a half inch less. So that's what I'm gonna do, trying to save money. So I'm gonna get two of them and I can get four sills out of this for all my four windows downstairs. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna get my jams. Um, they're gonna be a one by six by six. And so there's my sills, the jams I gotta get. So here's the different components to the window. The jams are the inside of the window. The casing is the outside against the wall. So we got our head casing or the top casing, the side casing, the sill, the apron that supports the sill, and I have eight total parts to this. So it's kind of complicated. So I have four windows. So total, I'd have 32 parts. So it's pretty complicated. So as I mentioned, the jam. So I got to get three one by six by six. Okay, guys, so I needed 12 jams. So what I did is I got a one by six by six. The reasoning for a one by six by six instead of a one by six by 12 is it's easier to fit into the truck and uh, keep it out of the weather. And it's also the same price as if I was to get two um, six footers as one 12 footer. So I needed 12 and I got um, one by sixes, even though it's two and three quarters, is because half of a five and a half board is two and three quarters. Rip it down in half and I can get two out of one board. Um, no, I can get two pieces out of one board and then four because I need them three foot long. So I can get four times three is 12. So that's what I did for my jams. Cross it off. And then um, now we need um, door casing for my French door and my main entrance door. So I need a one by four by seven. So I need a one by four by eight. And then a, a one by four by, um, one by four by four. And then a, one by four by seven again. Okay guys, so my best bet is to get five one by three by eights. And that way I will have like no waste. Um, I needed two round eight footers, two round eight footers. So I need four round eight footers and then uh, four foot. So I have like four foot left over and I can use that in my bowl. So that's what I'm gonna do. So let's pick them up. Check the edges. And if it has like a knot like that in the edge, probably it's gonna fall out. See that? It just fell out. So I'm not gonna get stuff like that. But uh just gotta look at them. See if they're straight and check the edges. Want one good one good side. So I think this one looks decent. 
Okay, everyone, so that should be all the lumber we need for the downstairs windows, the entry door, and the French door. I got my five one by three by eights. I got four one by three by sixes. I got four one by three by eights, two one by five by eights, and three one by six by sixes. So now what I want to do is I want to look at for pine wood filler to fill any um, any divots or anything like that and then um, two inch uh, brads for the ceiling so I'm gonna go check that out. and I'm also gonna look for a um, stain or primer for to put on my pine walls okay everyone so I got my 18 gauge two inch brad nails for the ceiling and I got this big quart full of um, uh, carpenters wood filler and the reason I got such a big tub is it was really cheap. It's only like 10 bucks compared to the smaller containers. There's one like um, a 16 ounce for 10 bucks, so I thought it was a better deal to get this. Okay, guys, sorry about that. I didn't get on film, but I just ripped all 12 of my jams, and they're exactly two and five eighths. I I uh, cut them 36 inches in the building, and it just made them shorter and easier to run through the table saw here. I'm using Dad's cobalt. And I ripped it right in half, two and five eighths exactly. So, okay, everyone, here is my top jam, and I want this to be 35 and a half inches long. Right now, it's 36 inches long. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to square one end with the saw, and then I'm going to measure from the square end and get it to the 35 and a half like I want for this top jam. Okay guys, um, my phone kept shutting off. I didn't get much recording of this, but here's the final look of the kitchen and casing and um, trim. So look at that sill. We put the Roman OG bit, routed that, got a little overhang over here, and then we got a little reveal between the casing and the jam. And I just think it looks awesome. Look at that. So there's my first window, and I should be able to, the, uh, to do these other three all by myself. So, uh, I think it looks awesome. We're going to end it here for tonight. Marked it at 39 and 3 eighths for my apron board. And then this will support our sill. I actually... Alright, there's my first window by myself, and this one had a top casing unlike that window, and I routed, and it looks pretty decent. So I'm going to come back with my wood filler and fill in all the nail holes. Alright guys, so now I'm going to cut all my pieces for my next um, trim. And here's my sill, my um, my jams, and then my apron, and I need to get, get casing. So, all right, guys, I'm marking my sill down two and five eighths and over three inches. So that's what I got to cut out. But I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to route it using the router and the Roman OG bit. Alright, so I'm using these jargons and clamps. I'm going to clamp it so it doesn't move. And then I'll have a bigger, bigger piece to route than rather than this little small section here. Now... that piece off afterwards.
my jigsaw and I can cut that piece out. Alright, there's our sill. And so uh, we can test on this window. And it does touch a lot better here. And we got a little wiggle room. So looks good. I like it. Getting my side jam square with my sill, and I'm gonna nail it. Alright, so I'm going to connect the top jam to the side jams. And it's got to be over here. Can do this side. Let's test it out. Alright, so I'm going to put this in without the casing. I have to put the ceiling up prior because the trim will not, um, will interfere with the ceiling. So, I'm going to nail it in. Alright, so I put a shim in here to get the reveal the same all the way around. And I pushed it back so you get it um, centered with your three quarters on each either side and then you look and see what size shim you need put it in and then nail through the shim all right I've decided to throw on the side casings and I'll I'll do the top later I switched nails and I'm using the one and a half 18 gauge brad nails and that way it won't come out the side. Because I didn't assemble the casing onto the jam on the floor, um, I nailed the casing to the side jam. Let's put my apron on. Let's nail it on. Alright guys, so I just assembled, um, I got my side casings on, and I'm going to sand it, get the burrs off, especially when we're routed. I think this routing gives it a little extra detail, that just makes it much, look that much cooler. So look at that guys. What do you think? I had to switch nails out. I got my two inches out of nails. 
Get a square. Put another nail in it. Get a square. Set for square game. Line up my apron and nail it. Hello everyone. So I just finished that window over there, and now I'm done with all the downstairs trim around my windows. Um, as you can see, I did this nice Roman OG bit. I've got a little um, reveal here which also gives a little extra detail. And at the top, I'm going to make a three-quarter inch cove, and that's going to run across here now that I have a router. The Roman OG matches my shelf up here. That's another reason why I did that. And I'd like to know your guys' opinion in the comment box on this. Dad's idea was to build it, assemble it on the ground, and then put it up in as a box. Tell me if you like that, rather than putting a sill in, nailing it, Put your jam in, nail on it. It seems like a lot more pain in the butt. So I thought it was a great idea. And tell me your opinion on the detail. I thought this looks pretty awesome. I'm still learning. I um, Dad taught me how to do one window, and I could basically do the rest. I think I could do this pretty easily. You just have to get your measurements right. So there is another window. And under here... I don't have any top casing on yet because for the ceiling, what I was thinking is I can store, the whole purpose of this building is to save space. It's a tiny house. So look at this guys. My nailer can fit right up between the studs. And what I was thinking is I could have a little compartment that pulls down and I could grab it out to use it and I can store it away up in the ceiling as well as an oscillating tool could fit in the smaller area here. And it's all about space saving. So tell me your guys' opinion on that. And then also up here, my insulation. I did a little research on Google and I found out that I should not do a double vapor barrier. Double vapor barrier means a faced insulation with a vapor barrier over it. That's what I was going to do for the ceiling, but it's bad and it will cause mold and and so forth. So I'm not going to do that. Either have unfaced and um, a vapor barrier or faced with no vapor barrier. The vapor barrier um, is the brown paper and it acts like it one. So same thing over here. I'm going to um, do my ceiling and then I'm going to put the top casing on. So 
Um, it's coming along pretty well. I think it looks nice in here, and I'm learning as I go. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, please subscribe for more future content like this, and follow me on my journey. See what comes along next. Hi everyone, here's a little bonus footage. So, as you can see, I got two Ryobi cabinets, and these were a Christmas present. What I was thinking was putting a cabinet up beside my window here. It gives it a nice contrast. See, I can store things like uh, bins, or I can even store uh, plates. If I want it to be a kitchen, or if I want it to be a workshop, I want this not to be permanent. What I was thinking is having a countertop that flips down, I'd like to know your opinion, that maybe also has a backsplash attached to it that'll flip up and cover the seam here. And, and then... Um, I also have a Pepsi fridge that my dad bought, and it has an ice maker, and it has a fridge down below, so I could have a drink and um, some ice as well, and I was thinking of putting that here too. But anyways, this could flip down, I could roll my um, workbench over here, and I could use it as a workshop too. So that's what I thought was pretty cool, and I was thinking of putting a cabinet on either side of the window. Also, I was thinking of having a microwave where I could heat up a cappuccino or a, or a um, hot dog or something like that, heat up my food, and also I have a toaster oven that I got. Um, up here, I was thinking of having a 42-inch TV, and I could use that as a little gaming area or watching TV, and for my loft, it's pretty huge. Um, that's the reason I went with a Gambrel. So I can use that and have a nice big mattress. I could game, I could watch TV, and it'd be pretty cool. Have a slice of pizza with my toaster oven. So, um, also, I was thinking of a ceiling fan right up there, and it's going to have a light in it as well. I have to install that. And then, uh, you know, a piece of kitchen that will be movable. And also right here, everyone makes a mistake, I cut a six foot board, and I have a little leftover, but I'm not worried about it, because look at I can case use this for casing up here, so I'm not too worried about that, and I'm trying to get as little waste as possible. So, I might also have a futon over here, and this lumber, I have to trim out my French doors, I have to, um... Put some pine on tundra pine on the wall there and trim out for that. And then I also have some for this main entry door. I could use that cut off around the entry door as well, too, for casing. So this is coming along great. I'm excited. So um, leave your ideas down below, opinions, um, concerns. So uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day.